Yeah, I thought I needed to make a follow-up on these face shields. I've had great response to these things as far away as Turkey and France, including our local hospital here too. But I've seen a lot of face shields being made right now. And uh, I'm, I'm, hey, my hat's off to you. Uh, I think everybody can. Everybody needs to do what they can do. Okay. However, many of these things are nothing more than a strap of, of plastic being strapped across your face. And remember, you need space for the mask underneath there. Um, and you got to make these things so comfortable. I mean, I've used these masks. I can remember one of my clients on Neuro years ago. He, has, he was HIV positive, and he had bleeding gums. And every time he'd speak, he'd spray out some blood at you. And yeah, I can tolerate even a tie-on face shield for a treatment session or something. But using that for all day, you know, we have seen the red marks. We've seen the marks on our caregivers' faces because of these things you have to wear so tight to hold in place then, too. So... Um, my suggestion to you, if you're making a face shield, go ahead and put it on, wear it around the house for eight hours or so. You know, we tried this and we've actually improved mine because of what we did then too. But if you can't tolerate it, don't give it, don't make it available for a caregiver. Because if you, this red marks you see, I've done enough splinting to know red marks means it's beginning a skin breakdown. And if you're actually getting skin breakdown because wearing this equipment, you're not doing anybody any favors because that's just going to cause another route for infection to enter then too. So, so anyway, enough of my soapbox there. Mine actually has is hinged here. That's why I want this design. It's got these hinges on it so it actually it can even fit this particular spray mask. It'll, it'll be far enough away from it and certainly will, will fit for goggles and everything else then too. So, but what I did on mine, this back piece was one solid piece and you had to be kind of particular as you put it together to make sure it wasn't too tight and yet too loose. Uh, so what I did, actually, I redesigned that back piece, and I used this two this two piece method here too. And I originally I was thinking of those little elastic bands when it comes to the ponytails, but I found out just a rubber band works really well. Uh, it gives you just a little bit more tension, and it's a little bit more makes it a little bit more comfortable for adjustment then too. So I've already uploaded this file to Thingiverse to go ahead and just download that one and replace it, or one you make it, choose that. Um, that softer back, more comfortable back option I had then too. Also, you can see these little pieces of foam right here. Just a small strip of some of this little foam here too is great. Um, you may have to put on top of that some type of cloth uh, tape uh, just for prevention skin breakdown or some type of allergies or something then too. Um, but yeah, I got to make these things comfortable. Um, also, I went ahead and added to the top here uh, some foam and that really makes it real nice for the top as well. So. So remember, make these things as comfortable as we possibly can. Um, and so it gives us protect, protection, but also um, that it can be tolerated for such a long time. And the final thing, sometimes I've seen these face shields get so long, people have been making. Well, if you bend down, it's going to hit your chest. And what that's going to cause is some shear pressure raising up and down all the time. So the vinyl is great. You know, you can just kind of cut the thing with a pair of scissors uh, and adjust it then too. So, and of course, vinyl is not polycarbonate. And if you leave these things sit in a certain position, they're going to deform a little bit. However, that will work its way out. You can even bend them back out a little bit here too. So anyway, uh, do what you can do out there, uh, but let's, let's do it right. So anyway, do what you can do. Get busy. Again, all the files.